American country music artist Tanya Denise Tucker was born on the 10th of October, 1958 in Seminole, Texas, and is known for her remarkable career during which she has received numerous awards, including several Country Music Association awards and Best Female Country Vocal nominations. Have you ever wondered how rich Tanya Tucker is as of mid-2017? According to Celebrity.Money, it is estimated that Tucker's net worth is over $50 million, acquired thanks to the numerous successful albums she has released, out of which seven have been certified gold and two certified platinum. Also, she had 15 number one singles in the U.S. These various recognitions she has been awarded have only helped add to her net worth. Tanya's first musical break occurred during one of her family's visits to the Arizona State Fair. On the chance that Tanya would participate in one of the singing shows, her successful performances in front of the fair's managers led to the family moving to Las Vegas, where Tanya regularly performed. By the time she was a teenager, Tucker had recorded a demo tape that gained the attention of the head of CBS Records, and soon she was signed with Columbia Records. Tanya's first single, Delta Dawn, was released in the spring of 1972 and instantly became a hit. Reaching number six on the country charts and the moment the public found out she was only 13, it became even bigger. Later that same year, her second single, Love's the Answer, also became a top 10 hit. And the following year, her third single, What's Your Mama's Name, gave her a number one hit for the first time. After releasing two more number one singles, Tanya was definitely established as a big star, and her net worth was well established. Being one of the youngest women ever to enter country music, Tanya had tremendous success thanks to her vocal talent. She signed with MCA Records in 1975 and had a series of hit singles until the late 1970s, including Lizzie and the Rain Man, San Antonio Stroll, and Here's Some Love, all reaching top 10 places on the charts. In 1978, Tucker released an album called TNT, causing a lot of controversy due to her radical image change and transition to rock. Nevertheless, this album went gold the following year. With the beginning of the 80s, her sales were declining and she only had two major hits. Tanya was also battling alcohol and drug abuse and needed to undergo treatment on her family's persuasion. This reflected on her career during the first half of the 1980s. However, her fame was re-established with the release of her Girls Like Me album in 1986, which also spawned four top 10 country singles. During the years from 1988 to 1993, Tanya released four gold and two platinum albums, thrilling the public with her new country pop style. In this period, she was nominated for Female Vocalist of the Year. Her net worth was rising again. In 2002, she founded Tucker Time Records and was ranked number 20 on CMT's 40 Greatest Women of Country Music. Tanya also took up writing and in 2005 published her book, A Hundred Ways to Beat the Blues and Fireside. Some of her latest activity includes appearing on Terry Clark's album Classic in 2012. She is one of the few female singers to be recognized as a member of the outlaw country movement. In her personal life, Tanya Tucker has had various relationships with fellow musicians, including Andy Gibb, Glenn Campbell, and Merle Haggard. She has a son and a daughter with actor Ben Reed, and a very long-term on-off relationship with songwriter Jerry Laster since the mid-1990s, and has produced a daughter. Tanya has actually never been married.